As a leader, if you make decisions, you have to implement them rigorously. One of my entrepreneur friends asked me the other day, how do I become more rigorous? I'd like to explain to you how to rigorously execute your decisions in this video. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur, and I help entrepreneurs to become better leaders. This video is about the rigorous implementation of decisions because that is a very, very important trait of a great leader. Many entrepreneurs ask me, how can I do this, Armin? Watch this video until the end and you will know how to become a rigor rigorous implementer of decisions. If you like the contents of this video, share it with your community and don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the red button underneath the video and switch on the bell so that you're always informed about new contents. Rigorous decisions and rigorous implementation of these decisions is a challenge for many managers and leaders, not only in startups, but also in big corporates and the main reason for the lack of being rigorous is that every decision no matter which one you take has a downside and by looking at the downside you are as a human being many times inclined to use the downside as an excuse for not implementing the decision for example you have to cut cost and you have to fire people. Now, the natural excuse is, I had this many years ago in a small company I worked for where I was one of the uh, members of the board. You had uh, one person that had worked with a big corp for a big corporate for many, many years and this person really had to be fired. And we excused or the not firing this person was all, always excused by the fact that then uh, nobody uh, could work with this customer so well or would have the relationships. That is maybe true that there is this downside. It was maybe true, but that does not justify, you know, keeping that high cost in the company. So the first thing that I'd like to share with you, never use the downside as an excuse for not implementing your hard decisions rigorously. The first step then is to get commitment of your team for the decisions that have been taken, especially in hard uh, times where hard decisions have to be taken. Ask for the commitment of the team and for everybody to apply uh, what you have agreed and also explain why certain um, decisions have to be implemented. Then implement it, you can you must mitigate the negative consequence consequences, eliminate them or sometimes even accept them. As I said, don't use the negative consequences as excuses, you know, for not implementing your decision. And number three, together in the team, review and learn from the implementation of that decision. It is a big challenge to implement, especially hard decisions rigorously. I can tell you from experience, if you don't do it, the situation will be even worse. Now, by applying these three steps, getting the commitment of your team and explaining it, then mitigating, uh, removing or accepting the negative consequences, and then afterwards doing a review and learning from it and doing better in the future, that will help you to more rigorously implement the decisions that have been taken. And that will make you much more competent as a leader of entrepreneurial teams. The LIFE program teaches you all the methods and tools of successful entrepreneurship for entrepreneurs within weeks. If you would like to have more inspiration on leadership for entrepreneurs, click on the link underneath this video to register for my mini course, Leadership Insights for Entrepreneurs. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, share it with the community and leave a comment. This was Armin El Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.